one of the the common beliefs uh, around testosterone is that it makes people aggressive. I think everyone's sort of been taught that through, you know, uh, the, the mainstream narrative. And, and I've heard you explain that testosterone doesn't invent aggression, but it just exaggerates pre-existing social patterns of aggression. Um, so th- 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 does this myth around testosterone and aggression come from the fact that we tend to just reward aggression with status? Yeah, exactly. Um, It's a very easy answer to why, and like every culture on this planet, males are so much more of a pain in the ass than females when it comes to violence. Um, In almost every mammalian species out there, and the exceptions are really interesting. But yeah, you kind of look at it in the times of life when testosterone levels are their highest. Adolescent males is when you see the most antisocial behaviors and things that that is really tempting to decide that you're seeing causality and that it's testosterone that invents aggression. What testosterone is mostly doing is just upping the volume on whatever social learning about aggression you've already had. And what that means is if you're having a whole lot of problems with aggression in a society, the answer isn't to take out everybody's testes. The answer is to, exactly as you said, look at the things that are being exacerbated by testosterone frustration, anxiety, fear, resentment, um, and look at the fact that it's being triggered by being rewarded for aggression in all sorts of circumstances that are pretty, you know, maladaptive. In one of your um, speeches on testosterone, you um, you give the example of what would happen to maybe a group of of monks in an ashram if you just chalked them up on testosterone. What would happen then? Well, this is one of the most interesting things out there. Okay, so you go through your, like, ooh, let's be more subtle than saying testosterone causes aggression. Testosterone exacerbates pre-existing social exact aggression. Testosterone is not causative. It's modifying. It's modulatory. Go through all of this, but then you find out there's an even more interesting ripple to testosterone, which is it's not so much doing any of these things as much as testosterone makes you do whatever you need to do to hold on to status when it's being challenged. Okay, so you're a baboon. What does your status being challenged consist of if you're male? And how do you respond to it? It's an aggressive whatever. Yeah, testosterone and responding to a challenge and aggression are just going hand in hand. But then you get to us, you get to us, and there's something much more interesting going on there, which is we can get status in all sorts of unlikely ways. We can be status filled by by making the biggest charitable contribution and having our name put on the building that our family's stolen fortune is endowed or some such thing like that, we can gain status by being the most conspicuously kind. We can gain status in certain economic games by making more generous offers rather than more backstabbing ones. And what you see is Framed that way in terms of human complexity, you take a circumstance, you get people playing an economic game where you accrue status by making more generous offers, fill people up with testosterone without them knowing whether it's that or saline, and people become more generous. Wow. When you get more status brownie points by being generous, testosterone fuels that and thus sort of this picture that you know take take a hundred buddhist monks and shoot them up with testosterone and they're going to claw each other's eyes out to see who could do the most random acts of kindness testosterone and aggression aren't it's just what does aggression mean in your society and if that's what you're handing out in terms of status and who you vote for and who you mate with and who you hand out medals to and things like that, then you're going to see the usual relationship between testosterone and aggression. It's whatever society is valuing 
that's the thing that males tend to mobilize testosterone for when they're feeling like it's uh, under assault. So amazing. So if testosterone is more of a um, status seeking than aggression, then um, the, the, the way in which we behave individually is a lot down to our sort of social and, and physical context that we're in, in at that time. Exactly. Like you can, you can get away with some pretty hard and fast rules of what hormones and neurotransmitters are doing to behavior. If you're like a sea snail, it's pretty straightforward there and pretty predictable. We're so damn idiosyncratic and individuated. And so culturally contextualized and contextualized in our sub micro culture that applies to you and three and a half of your friends that it's always coming with these qualifiers like all of this biology is always occurring in the context of someone and their psyche and the sort of society in which that person and their brain and hormones are going about their daily business